So you have, um, congratulations, you've now re-signed until the end of 2026. Um, how do you feel about your re-signing? Yeah, really happy about it. Obviously, got a young family now, um, so it's good to take care of them and, and know where I'm going to be for the next couple of years. And you know, I'm really enjoying my time at the club um, and look forward to building on, you know, my game uh, at centre now, um, and that allows me to over the next couple of years. Um, and talking about centre, you've actually started for the Storm in four different um, backline positions. So, what's your favourite? <laughs> I always get asked like what's my favourite but <clears throat> to be honest like ever since I come to the club I really didn't worry about what position I was playing um, you know I feel like where, wherever I am I just got to go out there and do my job um, and just playing around guys like Munster and, and Husey and Ellie Gato and Brick on my edge um, like it's really fun obviously they're great players themselves and you know just go out there and try and do my job and, and try and get the wins. Uh, and you're now sitting as the sixth highest um, strong point scorer. So, uh, how do you feel about that? Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Um, you know, I've only been here for a short period of time, but um, you know, these individual stats pop up every now and then, and they're pretty cool to um, look at and mes mesmerise. But um, it's a team game, so I'd rather get some team wins over the, over getting uh, individual accolades. And this Friday, you come up against uh, your old club, the um, Canterbury. So how do you um, think on Friday night? Yeah, it'll be a tough game. Uh, I remember last year they come here around two, I think it was, and really blew us out of the park and started really well. Um, and they did that again last week against the Roosters. They started really strong, so I'm sure, uh, no doubt they're going to do the same thing. Um, so we've got to match it. Um, you know, I don't know, know many people at the club anymore. They've had a um, large turnaround in players, but yeah, it's my old club, so it's always cool to reverse them and try and get over them. But um, yeah, like I said, we've got to start fast and, and hold on. Nah, definitely not. Uh, I signed for two years originally, um, sort of that backup role, um, you know, fill the hole that Nico Hines left. Um, you know, look at it now, I'm going to be here for another two more, I think all up five years, um, but hopefully longer, who knows. Um, but no, never would have thought I'd be here um, and sort of had the career here that uh, I've had. So, you know, I'm really grateful and really thankful for all the coaching staff and all the boys that have welcomed me in here. I think mostly uh, probably on the field, just what I've learnt, um, you know, with our coaching staff, what they've been able to teach me. Um, Billy Slater coming in a couple of times a week, uh, what you learn off him, he's unbelievable. He's got such a good football brain um, and, and just the players around me as well with Ryan and everyone like that, um, you know, playing those big games, you, you learn a lot more about yourself as well. So, um, you know, definitely on the field, learn a lot off the field, I guess. Um, just that family life has really taken over and it's probably allowed me to get away from football quite a lot. Um, when I was living in Sydney, didn't have any kids and you kind of consume yourself around football. So having that outlet is definitely a big thing. Uh, with the family, um, probably trying to teach my young son how to play golf. Um, he loves footy, loves football, loves coming to Storm games. Um, but it's a contact sport, so if I can get him into golf, um, I'll be a bit safer. But um, no, anything to do with the boys, um, they love coming to Storm games, like I said. And it's, yeah, it's really cool seeing them uh, wear their own Storm jerseys out on the field after the game. You've become one of the most accurate goal kickers in the competition. How much do you practice that during the week? Yeah, try to do it a lot. Uh, obviously, um, you know, you're sore and stiff after games, so picking our moments or my moments when I'm feeling good to, to have a couple of kicks. Um, but definitely keep to a routine on our big days of training, always finish the session with a good um, you know, kicking session. Um, and, you know, I think my boots as well, I wear concave boots now and they've really helped my, um, my kicking as well, um, their technology and the boots and stuff like that. So it's been really good. Um, also kick with Jonah Pezzett quite a lot. So he's always testing me out, challenging me, always trying to beat him out on, on Gosh's paddock. So definitely is a repetition thing and the more I can do, the, I think the better I'll get. You keep tracking on your head, you'll overtake Ryan Pappenhausen. Do you get any branding points or bragging rights over him once that happens? No, nah, no, nah, I don't think so. <laughs> He's a good goal kicker himself, um, but yeah, I think we're doing a right job there um, in the meantime and hopefully keep knocking them over. Speaking of kicking, can you decide who, who is going to do the kicking? You, I know you've had like, the, the main rights over for a little while now, mm. but do you like that's in the wrong? Uh, no, nah, nah, I don't think so. I think it's just probably just track record, how you're kicking. Um, you know, I've gone through a bit of a hot streak, um, kicking quite well at the moment, so I'm sure if I was 
you know, turned it around and, and started not making the kicks and um, in a bit of a slump, I'm sure I'd hand over the reins to him um, and he could take over. But uh, for now, I just keep trying to do my job.